We end our podcast session with a weekly dose version of the questionnaire that was used masterfully for 24 years by the great James Lipton inside the actor's studio. And the first question is, Jean-Marco Ceresi, what is your favorite drug? I'm a weed man. I'm a weed guy. Uh, I always go, the part I don't like is when I get stoned, I always, inevitably, have an existential dip. Like a, just a moment I start thinking about dying or, you know, something if I died right now. And it happens. And that's how I know I'm about to be the good kind of high. But I hate that dip. But then after that, uh, I, I feel very creative. I feel, um, I, if I see comedy, I'm like, I, I will say, like, oh, my God, that's genius. That's genius. And it turns on to myself, where if I have comedic thoughts, I go, oh, I'm a genius. I'm very, I'm, I'm very giving. And the part of me that's very envious goes away because I feel uh, amongst the gods and everyone else's gods. And so I really enjoy that. I think that makes me a more enjoyable human being to others and to myself. High highs and low lows, such is life. What is your least favorite drug? The cocaine so far. And I think I was so disappointed because I thought cocaine would be my drug. Uh, but I think maybe I thought that because like I act like people do when they're on cocaine, like I have big ideas and I think they're going to work. And so maybe I don't need it. But all I remember is I, I couldn't get it up, as I said, and, uh, my heart was beating really fast. And I remember I was with this woman and I said, let me just Google real quick. Uh, has anyone ever died from cocaine? And a lot, I didn't even have to go to the second page. It was, I mean, like at least a couple dozen have Plenty died of from results cocaine. On page and one. So, <laughs> so I just my heart beat fast, and I did it. I did not feel anything I would describe as positive. Mm. Nothing. What celebrity's overdose death has had the most profound effect on you? Philip Seymour Hoffman, hands yes, down, no Philip question. Seymour Hoffman, yes, indeed. What is your favorite slang word for cannabis? <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Um, I think Mary Jane is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if I'd ever use it in public. I think I'd get, I'd probably say like pot. Weed feels like weed. Uh, Devil's lettuce feels too hokey. Mary Jane, that's cool. She sounds like a nice gal. I'd like to meet Mary Jane. <clears throat> I would absolutely like to meet and party with Mary Jane. Indeed. What drug would you like to deal for a living? Ooh. I, well, I bought shrooms recently. And uh, that feels like the, the easy, easier. Feels like less variety you have to deal with. You just get shrooms or the chocolate. And, uh... I would be like a responsible one because we asked the dealer, like, how much should we take? And he's like, oh, God. I'd be cool. I'd be like, take one, take one or two, see how you feel. I would caution everyone. Probably yes. would be a bad dealer because each a bar would last them years based on my advice. Though. Sustainability, responsibility. You can always take more. You can't take less. That's what they say. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a Pringles. That was Pringles' new slogan after the pop can't stop pop. <laughs> Uh, what drug would you absolutely not like to deal under any circumstances? Uh, I just listened to a podcast recently about this podcast called The War on Drugs. And um, it was it was basically about how uh, heroin is increasingly, in a couple of years, it might not be heroin at all. It will just be fentanyl yes. uh, mixed with things. And... Um, the poppies are so expensive. That's, the poppy fields are too expensive to deal with. It's so much cheaper to s synthesize them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's strange. It, it was saying on this thing where, like, when people die from a heroin overdose, it's not necessarily a warning to people. It can be like a calling card. Like, this is the good shit. Sure. Uh, like, the same way that, like, if, if someone came to one of my comedy shows and you heard, like, someone died of laughter, you'd be like, I have gotta see this guy got to see this show you're absolutely right <laughs> and 
that's that's just a lot of that's a lot of pressure. I'd and rather then you find out you find out that you've uh, sprinkled fentanyl dust through the through the air ducts of the show <laughs> yeah. as you were doing your set, <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Yes. So yes, yeah, so heroin. So, you're saying heroin, you would not like to deal because it's 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 starting to become a, a, a it's falling by the yeah. wayside. It's a dinosaur. And, and, yeah, or any anything anything where fentanyl is is in play. It's yeah. I don't I don't want to be I, I I don't want to be responsible for death. Sure. And finally, speaking of death, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear Philip Seymour Hoffman say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Mm, I would love him to say, <laughs> I'm so bummed I never got to do a scene with you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Love it. And then I'd be like, I'd be like, Phil, are you high right now? And he'd be like, yeah. <laughs> hell yes. Hell yes. Jean Marco, here are your drug users. Daughters with your 